why Doctor Who's quote-unquote reboot is genuinely a bad idea. When Doctor Who was rebooted in 2005, it served a purpose. The show had been on air for a long time and there was a brand new generation of people that had never seen the show. So it was introducing them, but also introducing the people that loved Classic Who. It needed to drop a lot of the baggage that by the 80s, the Classic Doctor Who had. It had over 20 plus seasons and that's hard for any new viewer to get into a show when it has that much history. So a reboot just made sense. Where here, there is no gap in time between the new series and the Shooty Gatwa series. We're just going straight into a reboot. Or series 1 instead of series 14. When you've already got a cultivated audience that are still watching the show to this day, I don't know why you would do a reboot. And I get that they're introducing it to Disney and trying to get the American audience on stronger, but I just don't think it's the right way to go about it. Even at the end of the 60th, it came off more like they were trying to send a love letter to people that enjoyed Classic Who and New Who to say that this era is over and we're going into a new era where we're sort of forgetting about that. Exiled, key to time, all the devastation of Logopolis. Adric, Adric. River Song. All the people we lost. Sarah Jane has gone. Can you believe that for a second? I loved her. I loved her. End rules. But the time war, Pandorica, Mavic Chen. It comes off to me like they're trying to reset the Doctor, get rid of all his trauma, his pain and stuff, the stuff that built the character in New Who. And of course this worked between the 80s and 2005 because there was such a large gap there. You could fill it with anything, because that's possible, that's plausible. But here, a lot of the stuff they're trying to clear up is in very recent memory, and people aren't going to forget about it. People aren't just going to move on, and they're going to wonder, why is the Doctor acting like this? It hasn't been several incarnations, it's been one incarnation, spread across a couple of years. I mean, I just don't think it's a very good idea. And don't get me wrong, I 100% believe that Shooty Cat will be a great Doctor. From what we've seen of him so far, I think he's doing a superb job. However, I'm just kind of worried that they're going to scrub a lot of the history of the Doctor and the show in general. And I know we're seeing bits of Unit and other older companions so far for Shooty Gatwa's first series, but I'm still kind of worried about what they're going to do. Especially seeing, as of course, they are now partnered with Disney. But we of course know as well, Russell T Davies loves Classic Who. He bought back the Toy Maker, a first Doctor villain who hadn't been seen since his first appearance on TV. And I think that's great. And I'm really hoping he sticks to that with this brand new quote unquote reboot. But I just think it's quite confusing and just all unnecessary. It's really hard to gauge what they're trying to do with this reboot. They've named the show Doctor Who Series 1 instead of Doctor Who Series 14. And that's just confusing to longtime fans who have now had about three Series 1s of Doctor Who. The original show, the revival, and now this reboot. It also seems like they're trying to rebrand the show completely. Brand new art, brand new budget, a brand new logo, all due to the Disney deal. And it just doesn't feel right. There's 100% potential, but it doesn't make sense to rebrand do all of this and then break in classic elements. And we know this can work. They did it the first time round. They did a series of the show where they introduced the Daleks, Doctor and Companion and the mainstays of the show. And in the second series, they brought back one of the most iconic companions, Sarah Jane. But the issue is there, is that there was so much time to set it up and not rush it, that it worked. And as well, you're targeting directly to a British audience that know these characters and know the show. Where now, Russell T Davis, Disney and BBC are trying to target towards a more Americanized audience who really have no idea about a lot of the older stuff of the show. So it just doesn't kind of make sense to rename the show to Doctor Who Series 1 then introduce all of this into the first series. Why not just continue? And of course, they're not doing that because again, like I said, it's a pretty daunting thing to see Series 14. 14 seasons of a show that you have to catch up on before you can even watch the new stuff. It could be daunting for any fan or viewer. It comes across that Russell T Davies is trying to remake his first era of the show, but he's forgetting what made his first era of the show so special and how he did it, which is really concerning to me as a long-time viewer. I just hope that he can recapture what made his series one so good and he can straighten it out, because so far, no one knows what's going on with this reboot. Not new fans, not old fans, not anybody. Nobody knows what's going on and what Russell T Davies wants to do with the show. Half a dozen times since we last met. Incredible. So do you. <laughs> I got to... From what it looks like, Russell T. Davis wants to drop the baggage of the new Who, uh, because it's been convoluted as a recent, with Chris Chipnall, the flux, with the timeless child, and he wants to move on, while also slowly little bringing bits of that in, and I'm hoping that can work, but so far it's just been really messy and it has been really unclear, 
and I'm genuinely hoping, and I've got hope in him, I've got hope in him, Shooty Ketwa, Millie Gibson, and everybody working on the show, that they'll be able to succeed. But right now, it's just genuinely confusing, and these are just my concerns as a long-time viewer who really likes classic Who, New Who, and the expanded media.